German from the introduction. My presentation will follow this theme, so after a brief description of the plant dynamic theory and the way in which we intend to implement this theory uh, after the damage model, we will see some of the numerical results that we obtained and then the Predynamics is a recent non-local theory of continuum based on an integral operator. Here we can see the main equation of predynamics. So a generic material point can interact with all the other family points inside a finite horizon with a dimension equal to delta. This interaction is called bond and is governed by the pairwise force function and inside this pairwise force function there is the constitutive model for the material. Here, for example, the most simple uh, linear elastic material defined adopting this formula in which the pairwise force function modulus is obtained multiplying the bond stiffness that can be demonstrated to be proportional to the elastic module of the material uh, for the stress that is the bond, the relative bond elongation. Is it possible uh, to introduce a, a failure bond stretch per limit that can be related with the fractal energy in mode one? So when in a bond the stress exceeds this failure bond uh, limit, the bond is broken in a, a irreversibly way. For what concerns the numerical discretization, the body is discretized in a greater point, called the nodes. Here, uh, the, equa the main equation are rewritten for the dynamic phases and the static one. In our research group, we have written some codes able to solve the dynamic problem using an explicit solver and the static problem adopting an implicit solver that uses a Newton Rapson approach. The codes have been equipped with adaptive refinement strategy in order to reduce the computational time. But how can fatigue damaging be implemented in the technologies? We introduced the concept of fatigue bond quickly. So we adopt a bilinear pairwise force function. Again, the area under the bilinear law is related with the fractal. And we state that when the bond stretch exceeds a threshold level, in this case here, the nominal bond stiffness is reduced using this formula, where Vn is a fatigue damage effect at n cycles. The bond weakening is irreversible. The fatigue damage Vn is considered as a cycle dependent reduction of the bond stiffness. The aim of this work is to study problem with high cycle fatigue number. And uh, we assume that uh, the uh, total load will be composed by block of cycle, and each block will be characterized by a fixed load amplitude and a delta and number of cycles. Two components of damage has been considered, a static one and a fatigue one, and the sum of their rate will be the total weakening damage rate for a single bond. Here, the complete formulation inspired by a work of Irving and Robinson, and the last term give us the fatigue uh, damage rate in which we can see the delta n number of cycles for each uh, block of load. And there are some parameters, v here, lambda, and data. And this parameter, as pointed out by Kirlings, depend on the uh, material fatigue behavior. Now we will go through the numerical example that we developed. As for example, we study the fatigue track growth um, in a weak interface between two materials. The system that we have studied is reported here, applying uh, uh, two opposing moments this is the uh, strain energy release that we have at the track deeper. So we have a constant stress intensity factor also when the track propagates. 
here uh, the discretized system in which uh, we use uh, more or less uh, 1,200 nodes uh, that are shown here and uh, uh, about uh, 30,000 bones that are on the figure. The obtained track path is represented in this uh, uh, diagram. And uh, if we plot the track length versus the number of cycles, we obtain as a spectrum a linear behavior. In the next case, we study the fatigue of crack propagation on a laterally cracked plate. Again, the, crack, the obtaining of the crack path is reasonable. It's important to uh, point out that uh, for the dynamic, it is not necessary to use any type of criteria to define the crack direction. The crack uh, go toward the most energetic favorable path without any type of criteria. This is the uh, diagram that gives us the uh, crack elongation versus the number of cycles and uh, recalling, uh, recalling the formula for the stress intensity factor that can be written in this way in which we have the epsilon shape factor. If we evaluate this epsilon shape, shape factor from a theoretical point of view, and if we remove the same exercise inside our predynamic model, we obtain this result. So let me say that there is a good agreement between the predynamic result and the theoretical one. In the left, you can see the obtained Pyris diagram. So the proposed damage fatigue uh, law at the bond level is able to reproduce a Pyris diagram. In the next uh, set of examples, we reduce the grid size. Again, the crack path is reasonable. If we increase the fracture energy that described in the uh, material properties, we obtain a more length path before the testing complete fracture. And uh, if we redo again the comparison between uh, the shape factor evaluated with the theoretical formula and the one obtained with the predynamic, in this case we are using a more finer uh, grid, we obtain a better result. So we are going, seeing that we are going the right direction. Then uh, now a set of analysis performed uh, to investigate the potentiality technique. In the first case, uh, we have uh, a specimen with an initial pre crack and uh, an inclusion, not for the sensitive. We can observe as the crack uh, goes around the inclusion. If we add uh, a second inclusion, the crack uh, try again to avoid the inclusion. In the last, uh, in the last uh, set of uh, simulation, we have studied a plate with an hole and a pre-crack. Depending from the pre-crack pre position, the fatigue crack grow toward the hole if the initial crack is near to the hole center. Or the fatigue crack try to avoid the hole if the initial pre-crack is far from the in the last example, we studied a plate with uh, two uh, laterally misalignment mis track. What we obtain is something that has been uh, already shown from an experimental point of view, in the sense that the track during the growth try to avoid each other. To conclude, the perinamics is an the theory is based on integral equation, that means it doesn't require any ad hoc algorithm to deal with discontinuity like the cracks. The cracks are a part of the solution. A strategy to implement the fatigue damaging effect uh, has been presented. The proposed uh, model is enabled to describe the Paris law 
behavior and uh, the set of analysis performed for multi qualitative craft part. Additional work uh, is in progress and uh, it is necessary to correlate uh, the parameter at the bond level with the, uh, let me say, the macro material uh, parameter. But we are doing also another set of activities since uh, our back of pergamine is, uh, is computational cost. So we have developed just a few months ago an effective way to tackle the dynamic with the time element machine. And now we are able uh, to insert inside a time element model just in the area where the crack could occur as on governed by the dynamic. And this one could follow the practice. Here's that. 